Back in 1982, a small group of people realised its historical importance and decided they wanted to restore it. And they started digging it out and they got a big drag line in and eventually cleared it out, put water back into the arm and then started putting the infrastructure together. When I first came in 1988, there was not a lot of it at the time, probably five, five or six boats. Um, no real visit to moorings or facilities, and it's gradually improved over the years. And for residents in particular, the facilities have improved substantially. We've got um, electricity, we've got Wi-Fi, we've got security arrangements. Well, the latest one is the Cedar Room. That is used for workshops. We want to use it for education purposes to bring local primary schools in, to teach them about the heritage of the canal. And it's also hired out for meeting rooms for local businesses. People are welcome to come in and take herbs from our herb garden. We've got the scented area for people who are visually impaired. And also we have the oral garden as well. And it's just a lovely place to come and sit, have your sandwiches, have a chat. And we invite the public in every day. We believe that our contribution to the local economy is about half a million pounds from people who just come here visiting during the year, either day visitors or overnight visitors or residents.